Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 21. Still to come in this part, John Cena, the Doctor of Fogonomics, will take on the Second City Saint, CM Punk. Punk, go one-on-one -on -one with John Cena. How will Punk respond after being attacked by Orton last week? He takes his frustrations out on the man who attacked Raven. Well, here we go. This is the return of the highlight reel. You see all the colourful set that's been set up in the ring. It's been over two years since we've seen this segment on No Limits Wrestling. It was July of 2012, I believe, when we last saw this. And about to make his way to the ring, the host. About to make his way to the ring, Y2J, Chris Jericho. Jericho at WrestleMania competed in a triple threat matchup along with Alberto Del Rio and Chris Benoit. It was for the Intercontinental Championship. Jericho was not involved in the decision to lose the title or lose the matchup. However, Del Rio on that occasion lost the championship and Chris Benoit won the title at WrestleMania. But he is here tonight and Chris Benoit will be the special guest on the highlight reel. Jericho ready to host this segment using charisma right now last week at the conclusion of Del Rio versus Benoit for the IC title Jericho came out and looked Benoit in the eye and almost as if to say I'm coming for the title the anticipation is even bigger than the entire state of Texas can you feel it It's a night when dreams come true. When men can become legends, when history is made. And I know about making history because I did it when I became the very first undisputed champion. And I'm gonna do it again. And I've been the champion before. I know what it feels like. And I wanna feel it again. I crave it. I hunger for it. I hunger for it more than any other superstar. And that brings me to my guests tonight. Ladies and gentlemen and Jericho Hollis of all ages, my first guest, the Raven Wolverine, Chris Benoit. Well, here he comes to a standing ovation, the guest on the highlight reel, the Intercontinental Champion, Chris Benoit. Benoit won the title at WrestleMania and last week on episode 20 successfully defended it against the former champion Alberto Del Rio Chris Benoit out here ready to look Chris Jericho in the eye he is out here as the guest on the highlight reel and the Intercontinental Champion holds that title proudly he hopes to have a long successful championship reign to equal that of Del Rio's previously. Macy, I'm glad that you could join me on THR tonight because it's obvious we have a mutual respect for each other. You can even say that we're friends. But I just want to tell you that this match is every man for himself. And I'm going to do anything that I have to do to win and I'll do it to you. Jericho obviously wants the title. We know that's fine, Chris. I'm sure all of us here will do just about anything to win this match. I've got no problem with that. I do have a problem with your claim that you are the hungriest out of all of us to win. Sure. WrestleMania, I stood champion. And there is no greater feeling. And I'll do just about anything, anything to relive that feeling. But there is no one, and I mean no one, hungrier than me. Hold on a second. This is verbal. This isn't physical. I'm not a wrestler. I'm an interviewer. I don't want to get into the ring. I want to get inside your head. I got a lot of serious questions to ask you. And the first one is this. Who in the hell do you think you are? Wait, wait, let me explain, let me explain. I mean, you're waltzing. 
You walk around like you're some kind of big shot, like you own the place. The question I have for you is why? Why didn't you stay in Japan? Or at home with your 57 animals? Or whatever the hell it was that you were doing? Why did you come in the first place? The commences that loud and clear, Chris Jericho wants a title match. Everybody knows that Chris Jericho wants a title match. Everyone except for... And at first I thought, I haven't heard from this man all week. I haven't got an answer, yes or no. At first I thought maybe it's because he was a spineless, cowardly jellyfish. But then I realized he's just too stupid to understand the question. He has the IQ of a kumquat, and I think I used two big words. I spoke too quickly. I'm going to ask it with very short words. Me want title match. Oh, Ben, wow. right off the skull with that mic kit bro. Oh my God, Chris Jericho, all reversed. Reversed by Ben Wah, and here's the crossface. Crossface locked in by Ben Wah. Ben Wah has it wrenched right under the chin. Chris Jericho in trouble now. Went after the attack on Ben Wah, and now he taps out to the crossface. Chris Benoit making the host of the highlight reel tap out to the crossface. We remember last time we saw the highlight reel, Chris Jericho putting Shawn Michaels' head through the screen on the last highlight reel. Thank God he tried to do it to Benoit tonight. However, Benoit was smartened up about that and he reversed the attack by Jericho and makes the host scurry away. Chris Jericho makes his intentions clear. He wants an Intercontinental Championship match. Whether or not Chris Benoit will give it to him, that's another story. But the main story here is that Benoit has made Chris Jericho tap out. Intensity. Ruthlessness. Brutality. Just when you think it can't get any more brutal, it will. The extremes of which these men will go to are unfathomable. They will fight to the death. They will fight for what they believe in. They will fight for their lives. And all that is left is destruction. No Limits Wrestling Destruction Live. And Destruction is going to be one hell of a pay-per-view, including Hell in a Cell for the World Championship. But coming up next, a match which rides incredibly highly in the tag team division. About to make his way to the ring, one half of the high-flying, exciting tag team champions, Kofi Kingston, set for one-on-one -on -one action against Supermax. It was this past Wednesday, on Metal, where Kofi Kingston was defeated by Chavo Guerrero after R-Truth was attacked backstage by Hernandez. It caught him by surprise and it ended up being Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez on metal beating down the tag team champions in the backstage area. Kofi hoping for some sort of retribution tonight when he takes on one half of the challenges for their titles at Destruction, Supermax Hernandez. You will remember it was at Wrestlemania where Kofi and Truth put the tag team titles on the line against Chavo and Hernandez. However, as you saw, our Truth getting intentionally disqualified after he knew that their tag team titles were about to slip away. Kofi Kingston, he was out for the count. He had no idea what was going on. It was a decision solely made by our Truth, and that meant they lost by disqualification on that night. However, last week, the commissioner made the match for destruction at Destruction as this match gets underway it will be at the next pay-per-view Destruction for the tag team titles Kofi Kingston and R-Truth defending yet again against Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero but this time if Kofi and Truth get disqualified they lose the titles if they get counted out they also lose the titles this time there are going to be no what a headbutt by 
Hernandez. There aren't going to be any sloppy finishes in the rematch at Destruction. It's going to be a clean finish. And here you see Hernandez Supermax with the power he possesses slamming down Kofi Kingston. And oh my God, you see the power. That's 280 pounds right down on your back like a surfboard. And now Kofi being manhandled by Supermax at the moment. One half of the tag team champions in trouble. Especially not gonna have to gonna have to build some momentum after losing to Chubb Guerrero this past week on Metal. Hernandez will have something to say about that. He attacked R True from the back on Metal, and there you see a DDT reversal by Kofi. Can he get back into this one? Now Kofi goes over to the ropes and look at this high flying offense. Moonsault from the ropes, springboard, and here's a cover but a kick out by Hernandez. Gotta believe Chov Guerrero and R-Truth are watching this backstage. Kofi Kingston hasn't been too happy with the way that R-Truth has been flipping. <laughs> Getting tongue-tied. Kofi Kingston has not been happy with the way that R-Truth has conducted his business as of late, including the Tag Team Championship match at WrestleMania. The way in which that match ended was not to uh, Kofi's liking, it wasn't to the fans liking. And for a team that usually pleases the fans, it wasn't the way to retain the titles, but it looks as if Hernandez is going to go for the border toss. He beats his chest, but... Oh, my. Oh, look at this. Chuck Guerrero backstage knocked out. Just like what happened to our truth on Metal. And oh, there you see him. There you see our truth. We talked about the darker side of him coming out in recent weeks and the way he's conducted himself. He's just leveled Chubb Guerrero in the backstage. Look out! Trouble in paradise! One, Trouble in paradise two, by our truth three. By Kofi Kingston even. And he picks up the victory over Hernandez. Kofi Kingston following the distraction wins this matchup and I don't think that Kofi Kingston realises how he got distracted. I don't think he realizes what our truth has done yet. He's celebrating as if he's won this match fair and square, but I don't think it's dawned on him. I don't think he knows. Nevertheless, uh, Chav Guerrero getting a taste of his own medicine in the back there. Kofi Kingston had parts of this match up in control, but for the majority, it was Hernandez with the power at his disposal, but he got distracted by this. Chavo Guerrero leveled in the back by R-Truth and that left Kofi in the ring to deliver trouble in paradise Hernandez looks on he's, his team's got a taste of their own medicine here tonight after what happened on Metal but he's going back to 10 to Chavo Guerrero and look at this look at Kofi Kingston in the ring he realises he hasn't won this match fair and square and he's looking at the screen almost as if to say why the hell have you done this our truth Kofi Kingston trying to be right honourable tag team champions but our truth playing dirty tactics and but Kofi Kingston picking up a cheap victory here tonight look Raven I'd like to apologize because quite frankly I feel I'm partly to blame for what happened last week Cena attacking you I was the one who spurred him on I told him to make an impression and he did that so I'm sorry if it caused offence. Nothing personal, Raven. That's you and his business, and it seems as though this past week on Metal, you put him in his place. This situation is getting a little bit out of hand, isn't it? So, because you are a hardcore legend among the wrestling business, and John Cena feels the need to make an impression that he did that, despite carrying away from you this past Wednesday on Metal, I believe there should be a championship match at the pay-per-view. Raven, at destruction, you will go one-on-one -on -one with John Cena for the Hardcore Championship. Hardcore title on the line, false count anywhere, Cena versus Raven. How's that sound? I know you want to get your hands on him so badly. I understand that. So, we're agreed? Good. In a bit, Raven. Oh, yeah, Raven. Almost forgot. Don't interfere in Cena's match later, alright? Or there'll be consequences. I mean it. Don't interfere in Cena's match. Wait until the pay for you, Raven. Or even ordered not to interfere, but the fact of the matter is a match made. Oh my! 
Want me to chair? Want to play the world? Oh. Enjoy your night. Oh, you son of a bitch. John Cena hitting the nightstick off of the back of Raven's skull. And he's unconscious. What a heinous act by John Cena. How dare he? Raven already said he wasn't going to interfere. Cena attacking him from behind with that nightstick. Does he really feel the need? Is he that insecure about himself that he needs to attack Raven from behind? Apparently so. And you hear the crowd response for Cena after what he just did to Raven. But the main story here is that that destruction, it will be John Cena going one-on-one -on -one with Raven with the Hardcore Championship on the line. Cena got what he wanted, he got a title match against Raven. After making an impression, Raven agreed. He wants to get his hands on John Cena even more now. He wants to beat him up and show him what being hardcore is all about. But the fact of the matter is, Cena can have Raven on his mind right now. All he's got to have on his mind is the straight edge society saviour, CM Punk. Cena versus Punk live here tonight on No Limits Wrestling and AC. Chicago Zone, CM Punk about to make his way to the ring for his match against the Doctor of Fugonomics. And you gotta wonder what CM Punk's condition is as well. Competed in Money in the Bank at WrestleMania, but the night after WrestleMania is what Punk will remember most. Randy Orton was in the ring bragging about how he defeated Batista and retired him when who would come out but CM Punk to put him in his place. CM Punk straight up told Orton you're not the guy you think you are. Age of Orton is an overstatement. And he said Orton was pathetic and that's what made Orton snap. Orton and Punk brawled until Randy Orton RKO'd CM Punk on the concrete outside and then insinuated that he would kick him in the skull like the sick human being he's become. But then again CM Punk gotta have Randy Orton on his mind here but then again Randy Orton has not been seen since he threatened to kick Punk's head in last episode. There you see the suplex by Cena. Punk now, very technical, very technically sound is Punk, but Cena much more of a brawler, the brawling tactics. Got to come into play for Cena here tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk in NLW here. Punk competing in his first matchup since Money in the Bank at WrestleMania. Still got to be sore from that matchup. Came so close to winning the briefcase. However, came just short. Cena didn't have too much luck at WrestleMania either. Losing to Kurt Angle, but Cena getting a hardcore title matchup against Raven at Destruction. There you see Punk with the DDT. Here's a cover and a kick out by Cena. Cena, although he attacked Raven as you saw just now, Raven obviously not going to be a factor. The commissioner ordered Raven not to interfere but the fact of the matter is he may have concussion regardless Punk jumps over him and the drop toe hold Punk very technically sound out wrestling Cena at the moment as we expected and look at the way that he bends Cena's body and has the hand wrapped under the chin and I'm no expert but that's not how the human body is meant to bend Cena sliding to the outside now Punk knows he's in control but can he take advantage of this Cena in trouble and Punk through the ropes Suicide dive by Punk. Right on to Cena. Cena got to get back into this one right now. Punk is on a roll. And with destruction only two episodes away, Cena has got to be wary. He's not going to do well against Raven if he's being on the back foot against CM Punk right here. But oh, there's a drop kick by Cena trying to get back into this one, and they're still fighting on the outside. Referee has a count of 10 to deal with this. And now, there you see the suplex down to the floor. Punk being pummeled by Cena at the moment, but Cena goes right back to work on him. And oh my, he's on his shoulders now. We're going to see an FU early on, but Punk on a kick to the chest and sends him back down again. And now Punk, submission specialist, going with the camel clutch and he's got that hand wrenched under the chin of Cena. Cena in a lot of trouble here, but rolls through. Cena back up, and a stiff punch sends Punk straight down to the canvas. And you see the way he kicks him on his way over to the turnbuckles there. 
on the top, not like Cena, but the double axe handle to Punk. Cena has shown in the past couple of weeks a more vicious side attacking Raven. Last episode was put in his place after he confronted Raven this past Wednesday on Metal. Metal episode 7 it was where John Cena went up to Raven and taunted him but then found out that Raven had a nightstick and cowered away like usual. Cena couldn't back up his words that night but you saw earlier tonight when he brutally assaulted Raven in the backstage after the match was announced but Punk making Raven proud at the moment beating up Cena but Cena falls in by the head and now another clothesline and Cena is he gonna go for the five knuckle shuffle here but oh kick to the skull by CM Punk and now again with the net breaker such a wide variety of moves in Punk's arsenal that he can put to his advantage he can make you submit he can fly all over the ring as he's doing right now he's a cross body onto Cena but the strength the strength to roll through and oh my god he's on the shoulders and body was going to go for the FU but Punk sent off the apron Cena almost caught out Punk with the power he possesses but he's sent back down to the floor and now he's got to get back into this one Cena pulling him in from the inside dragging him away yet again and it does not look good for the second city saviour now this move that infuriates people and now going to go for the STF not the STF five knuckle shuffle but Punk trying to go for the anaconda vice now he's going for the STF and now Punk reverses into an anaconda vice Cena may have no choice but to tap out right now crowd going ballistic Cena may be about to tap to the anaconda vice but Cena manages to get his foot under the ropes ring presence state of mind worked well for him that time and oh, a roundhouse kick by Punk CM Punk getting back into this one series of kicks and punches doing the deed Cena laying up in the corner in a high knee into the corner right off the jar and now the Bulldog running Bulldog that time CM Punk in control of John Cena CM Punk not showing any signs of fatigue after being RKO'd in the concrete last week by Randy Orton he's in control and the elbow vintage Punk tribute to Randy Savage there high elbow from the top rope and now he calls for the end CM Punk going for the GTS but Cena rolls through Cena rolling through and now they're down on the floor Cena now has that hand wrenched under the chin and this is not good not good at all for CM Punk Punk in trouble in the STF sitting down on it and Punk may have to tap out will he tap out to the STF gets to the ropes just in time but Cena not wasting any time dragging him away again and we're going to see an FU Punk reverses and face planted into the canvas what a fantastic matchup being contested on the road to destruction episode 21 of No Limits Wrestling on a night where Shawn Michaels will prepare for Hell in a Cell by going one on one with Kane later tonight and a matchup here for the ages CM Punk going one on one with John Cena Punk missed the moonsault and now Cena calls for the end he's taunting him to get up off of the mat and oh my he's got him on the shoulders for the FU gets away just about oh what a roundhouse roundhouse kick by CM Punk here's the cover and I could honestly thought that Cena was knocked out from that kick but Punk wasting a little time yet again he's on his shoulders are we gonna see the GTS but Cena throws him out of the ring CM Punk out of the ring momentarily and you see the referee distracted by Cena Cena trying to get out the referee stopping him referee don't see oh my god oh my god it's Randy Orton oh Punk kick for the love of god Randy Orton punting the skull of CM Punk and throwing him back in the ring and the referee had no idea what was going on he didn't see it oh for god's sake John Cena picking up this victory but for God's sake I don't care that Cena's won I, I care about the health of CM Punk Randy Orton coming out here and finishing the job from last week he kicked Randy Orton he kicked CM Punk 
right in the skull. Randy Orton delivering a swift kick, a punk kick, throwing him back in the ring. Referee had no idea. Cena picks up the victory, but oh my God. CM Punk looked like he was going for the GTS, but Cena was having the referee distracted in the ring when who else but Randy Orton would come out and kick him in the skull. And then Cena just rolled over into the cover. Cena wins, and I don't, he doesn't care. This doesn't matter. Cena in the situation does not matter. The fact of the matter is, Randy Orton trying to pull the point. The evil side of his character is definitely shown right now. Randy Orton, look at CM Punk being attended to by medical staff. CM Punk being put on the stretcher and for God's sake, get him backstage, get him to a hospital or something. He has got to go to a hospital immediately and look at that sick bastard, that the look on the Viper's face. Randy Orton kicking CM Punk in the damn skull and oh my god he's not done put him down put him down for God's sake Randy Orton oh, for oh. Randy Orton infuriating this audience CM Punk is being strapped to that stretcher he's helpless he's knocked unconscious and Randy Orton is sick Randy Orton the sick side of his character has definitely come out Randy Orton putting away yet another superstar. First he kicks Batista in the skull and now he kicks CM Punk square in the head. CM Punk has got to go to a hospital. We've got to take a break from this because this is, this is a serious situation that's going on right now but nevertheless after the break our main event the big red machine Kane goes one on one with the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels. As Michaels prepares for Hell in a Cell against Triple H at Destruction Michaels goes one-on-one with Kane, coming up next. <laughs> 